Hey, hey, hi there, Libra. Welcome to my weekly predictive reading for April 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. Okay, Libra, off camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. And we will be using a card from the Archangel Power Tarot cards by, the, by Radley Valentine. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number zero of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Fool. This card is ruled by Uranus, so this could be that you're dealing with an Aquarius. It could be in your chart, could be your moon, your rising. Could be someone else's that you're dealing with, could be their sun or moon or rising. Now this air element is the first of the major arcana of the 22 cards that show hidden meanings. These are karmic lessons or major life themes. Themes. This is a new path. A choice is offered. It's trusting life and taking a blind leap of faith, that first step, taking a risk. It's traveling, it's entrance, a new beginning, with innocence and lightness and trust. The fool always gives us courage to continue and prompts us to seek new experiences, and you should be following your instinct rather than the advice of others. And if you follow your instinct, you'll be provided with guidance. It's being on the edge of an important new beginning and trusting where the universe is taking you, embarking on a new way of life, a physical journey, moving, starting a new job, or getting married or divorced. It's that first step, despite some fear. This is a sign. It's a green light to step into the unknown. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Six of Swords, Libra. More air energy. This is a card of moving away from difficulties. It's the calm after the storm. There's safety and security, and another card of moving into the unknown. It's a transition with recovery and mental healing and support. It's movement of any kind. And this is someone's Mercury in Aquarius. This is smooth sailing and making adjustments. This change is going to go smoothly. It's a transition and a relief at what you left behind. Could even be going on a short trip somewhere, even over water. This can be a spiritual journey. It's being in a somber state and coasting along and being open for how things develop and having patience. This is a move to a more pleasing environment, a release of tension and anxiety after a period of strain and confusion or something destructive. It's a mental shift. The Fool with the Six of Swords is a travel combination. It can be a chance meeting. It's a journey into the unknown, and you are protected. It's being uninhibited. Inspiration guides you past a difficult situation. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The Seven of Wands, Libra. Fire energy. The card of the Lionheart. Mars and Leo. Maybe you have Mars and Leo. Now this is standing up for what you believe in. It's having the upper ground. It's victory through courage and success against opposition and re reaching a new level. It's being on top and wanting to stay that way. It's deep purpose and valor and facing tests, but with victory and commencement. And it's courage in difficult situations, and you'll beat down all problems. It's the excitement of conflict, competition, trade, business negotiations, and defending what matters. And now you're ready to face challenges, and you will stand your ground and fight for what you believe in, and your determination will overcome all obstacles. This is achieving a new level. It's taking a stand, but it's also a warning against unnecessary blockages. Do not be a victim. It can be stiff competition in business, and also a chance to prove yourself. The fool with the Seven of Wands is ready to take the next step in fighting hard to meet responsibilities. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome. The results. The Knight of Swords, Libra. 
air energy. This can be you, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, it's also your second reference to Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Now this is, nights are always in movement. And this one is a fast action, that's speed, swift action. Rushing in, it could be a communication. This could be someone that's overly aggressive or argumentative. Could be a message that comes in at a bad time or brings in some kind of mental conflict or differences of opinion. You'll need to use diplomacy and honesty. Too much eagerness can create problems and drama. Um, this is the speed at which debate changes people. This could be someone that rushes to judgment and they're being opinionated. An opposition tries, makes them try even harder. Maybe this is someone trying to win an argument. They'll need to listen before they charge in. Could be someone who is overly blunt with someone who's sensitive. Or news at a bad time in an inelegant manner. This is someone that's driven, they're searching to reach a goal. This is enthusiasm that takes wings. It's using determination, curiosity, and sharp intellect with focus. The fool with the knight of swords is boldly going forward with a new endeavor. It's taking chances. It's exploring a new path with unconventional approach. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The two of cups, Libra, water energy. This is unseen. It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Water energy, two of cups, has to do with a partnership, a union. This can be a love match, an attraction, a commitment. It can also be the beginning of a proper, prosperous business partnership. This can be a union. It's making plans with a kindred soul. There's a deep connection here. It's taking vows. It's emotional. There's bonding and respect and sharing and harmony and balance. It's emotional support and trust and understanding and dealing successfully with strong emotions. These are basic energies, important feelings, and at times they can be in conflict with each other or complementary. This can be a passionate love affair. It's taking note of your feelings and needs to make a decision. It's talking things over. It's a letting go or a reconciliation. It's taking note of feelings to make a decision. It could be brainstorming and generating ideas with another person you're working in harmony with. This is a commitment to meaningful exchange. The fool with the two of cups can represent an instant strong attraction, chemistry, love at first sight. It's a surprise strong connection. can also be trying new things with a like-minded person or an unconventional relationship. can also be dreaming of love. The Six of Swords or the Seven of Wands is becoming a manager. It's getting more responsibility. Six of Swords with the Knight of Swords is moving forward with a rapid communication. It can be networking, steering your own course, travel, adventure, and taking charge. The Six of Swords with the Two of Cups is moving or traveling for or to love. The Seven of Wands with the Knight of Swords is standing up for your beliefs, fighting for what you believe in. Seven of Wands with the Two of Cups is being defensive over a connection. The Knight of Swords with the Two of Cups is being quickly swept off your feet. This can be an impulsive action within a partnership. Your card from the Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. You've got the Two of Ariel, which is the same of the Two of Pentacles. It's important to have balance working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. It's important to have balance. You may be working multiple jobs or you have a several projects going at once. Reconsider your to-do list. Is it really necessary to accomplish it all? The key to managing stress is to think of ways to make your situation more fun. Look at life in a playful way. You may be having challenges, balancing your budget, be cautious of juggling your finances in a way that causes long-term difficulties. Career changes should be looked at carefully and decisions made slowly and logically. 
additional meanings, going with the flow, making it look easy, and the ability to get by on little money. Thanks, you guys, Libra. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.